Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alp Ronan here again, and today I'm here for a quick breakdown on Mei Hatsume. I haven't had her very long, but I don't have very long to record this, so um, I'll just show you um, how to play her very quickly. So, starting off with her buttons, or just in general, she's what I would call a utility character. She plays quite similarly to Jiro. She has a lot of moves that lead to combos, um, a lot of different variation routes in her combos, and yeah, just a lot of... Um, just like unusual like technique like gadget moves like you know these barrels she uses these like grappling hooks and nets to grab people she's an interesting character so let's get into her buttons her red attack or her regular attack string is pretty unusual it's three hitting but after every hit she's in the air so no matter where you cancel it from the first hit from the second hit or wherever she's in the air because of how she like jetpacks herself into the air which I found kind of interesting, because you can never cancel into her plus ultra 1 from of her regular attack string. So that's just something to note. So yeah, this is her ground attack string. Her air attack string is similar, except it's just two hits, and it, the second hit bounces the opponent. Obviously it can be used and cancelled for combo extensions. Um, yeah, so pretty basic stuff there. Her red attack is kind of unusual. Um, I definitely wouldn't call it good in any way. A lot of the time she like actually places it down in the wrong place if you run up. And it's also just really weird, it has such a small hitbox, like, when I'm like this close to the opponent, if I do it, it's gonna miss, because it, she places it like right where she's standing and then jumps back. So I have to be like, r right on top of the opponent in order to do this, and it's also not very fast. And a lot of the time you can't actually get a combo from this, so if I land it like here, and somehow the opponent gets hit by it, I can't really get a combo, like, run up and do a combo. The only place I can ever just get a normal combo is if I'm, like, right in their face. And then I'm able to get a combo. But if I do, if I am trying to, you know, go for a reset or mix them up, like, from this range, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do the red attack, usually what I do just for consistency is I go into that move, which we'll talk about later, to get a full combo that way. Okay. Her yellow attacks, this is her ground yellow attack, it does a decent chunk of damage, it puts her in the air, but as I mentioned before, she's never going to be able to cancel that off of her regular buttons. So the only time you're ever going to be able to get it is if you're off of something like this, and then you can cancel into some combos this way, and get some combos that way. But yeah, it does a lot of damage, um, it's kind of safe-ish because the opponent finds it hard to difficult, um, would find it kind of difficult to punish it since it puts you so far in the air. But yeah, it's a yellow attack. It's not that great because it has a, quite a small hitbox because she goes like straight up. Like if I'm right here, it's going to miss the opponent. So you need to be pretty careful when you're using this. Her air yellow attack is pretty generic. It's a bunch of kicks. It's pretty good for getting wall splats. Like it's surprisingly good. It doesn't look like they're going to be flying, but they just keep going straight into the wall. Like even as you saw from over here, they just keep flying into the wall. So it's pretty good for wall splats, so if you ever see you're facing the wall, just leave your yellow attack and don't cancel it into other buttons, so you can extend your combo even more. Um, but yeah, it's a very basic yellow attack in the air. It does things, you can cancel it into other buttons. And uh, yeah, it'll be used in combos. Her quirk one is... this net move, which... Just uh, launches out this kind of large net that has a really big hip hitbox, um, and it kind of travels a similar distance to um, Jiro's uh, headphone move, or where like she releases that those like blasts. And yeah, it acts pretty similarly to those actually. So they are pretty plus on block if you hit them from over here, because see, but not too much. They're not as good as Jiro's. She can't like stand behind them, but it's still pretty good and has a really large hitbox. And obviously, if it hits them. You're getting a full combo. Oops. Messed that up, but we'll talk about that later. But yeah, it's a really good move. It's not a zoning move, but you, you know, you can throw it out a bunch if you know, you know, around this range. I think you can catch the opponent with these. And yes, you can only use one in a combo. If you try to use two, it'll end in a meteor blow. But a lot of the time, I actually like to use that meteor blow, because she sometimes likes to get some distance and some longer knockdown, so she can throw out these barrels of all different kinds. Um, yeah, anyways, that's that move, obviously, great for combos, and, you know, it's good for a little bit of neutral, you know, run around, throw it in the air, catch your opponent off guard, hit them, and get a full combo for it. Um, but obviously it's very punishable if they block it. Um, her next move, is her tilt quirk one, is this move where she, like, sends out these, like, grappling hooks that grab the opponent. Um, it's nearly full screen, it's not 
a completely full screen, as you can see it whiffs here, but like a little bit closer, it has very long range. And this move is crazy ridiculous, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. So when you hit them with it, if you press nothing, it just like hits them a second time and brings them in slightly. If you press 1 after doing it, or X, or square on a um, PlayStation, I think, um, she, will, uh, she will suck herself in. Which is useful if you're a really far away. She can suck herself in and then you go in for a full combo. And yeah, do something. Um, as I said, if you leave it, she'll just pull them in slightly. And you can actually combo off of that as well, and that's what I like to do the most, because then you can just go for normal combos. And it adds a tiny bit more damage. And she can also press 4, or B, on Xbox controllers. And uh, she just does this weird spin in. I believe it is um, safe on block this move. So if you if the opponent does this and somehow something happens, you do that, launches them in the air. And that's also a really good way to end combos a lot of time because her only other combo ender is this. And because she gets dizzy at the end, um, it doesn't leave you with very good Oki. Um, so if you end your combo in this, your opponent's launched in the air, sometimes they'll be media blown, but it, because they're like flying uh, in the air for so long, it gives you time to throw out some barrels and, you know, get some of this stuff started, you know, if you hit them with a barrel, throw another one of these out, and yeah. And obviously it's a really good combo move as well, just like her quirk one. You'll be using it in a lot of your combos, so even after something like this, or after you've landed one of these, I like to run up and do this yellow attack. And go into it, and then go into a full combo from there, and pretty simple stuff. Um, her quirk one, what is, um, the tilt quirk one, what is really surprising about it is, um, if I get Bakugo to block here, action after guarding, and make him do a target combo, so he will attack as soon as he can after any of my things hit, and punish me for whatever I do. So see, if I do this move, and I'm holding block, I get punished for it, because it's very punishable. But... Her Tilt Quark 2, even from right in their face, is completely safe. Like, her Tilt Quark 1, you know, it's safe from a distance, obviously. Sometimes even plus if it's from far enough. She can hit before the opponent can. But her Tilt Quark 1 is completely safe. Completely safe. Isn't that ridiculous? And obviously it's plus on block if it's from this distance. So, like, if you throw it from, like, here, she's plus and she can just attack way before the opponent can. But even if she just does it, like, right in their face... Oh, wait, that's not gonna work. Um... But like, if you do it like right here, they can't punish you from right in their face. There's nothing they can do to punish this. It's ridiculous. Maybe if they do a plus ultra 2 or something, but with traditional means, there's no way of punishing this. Which I find ridiculous, because that means you can just throw it out as much as you want. And like, if they block it, well you, you know, you just are blocking. But if it hits, you're getting a full combo, so <laughs> the risk reward for this move is pretty pretty uh, lean towards reward, <laughs> because it hits them, I get a full combo, I get to do a full combo for free, and she has pretty good meterless damage, and if they block it, well I'm totally safe, and it doesn't matter, so uh, you can just throw this out whenever you want, and there's no risk for it, so yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, her quirk 2, is this, I don't really, <sighs> Does anyone remember what, like, what these are that she's holding? Like, it just looks like she's holding a bunch of keys that come out of her shoulder. <laughs> and then she just spins with them. But yeah, this is basically, it's a combo ender, it does a lot of hits, you can hold the button down, it does a lot of hits, and does decent damage. So if you want damage at the end of your combos, you'll end with this. But keep in mind, if you do do the whole spin, she does this, like, dizziness, and if you do, are oh, right beside the opponent, they can actually punish you for hitting them with it. But um, a lot of the time they're going to be launched so far away there's nothing they can do about it. But um, a lot of the time, if you want to be a bit more cautious, you know, just end it a bit earlier. She doesn't do the full daze thing, and but you still get pretty decent damage, just not the whole damage. But yeah, it's a pretty good move. You just need to be careful when using it that um, you don't hold it down too long if the opponent's going to wake up right beside you and they'll punish you for it. But yeah, pretty good damage. What is also really interesting about this move, actually, is it can be used to cancel into her plus ultras, because it brings her back down to the ground. And that allows her to combo into her plus ultra too. Okay, 
And for her tilt quirk too, she has these unusual barrel moves where she throws a barrel. Um, she can direction them, so she can throw it right, left, or just straight forwards. And basically these just bounce around until they hit the opponent. They have a bit of tracking, so if I throw it to the left, it'll curve and try to make its way to the opponent. But um, yeah, these are pretty good moves just to throw out, and obviously they're extremely plus unblocked because I can throw out a bunch of them. You know, they're just bouncing around the screen, and I can move around while these are out. So, the, you know, the, while the opponent's getting scared of these and then they decide to block, I can run in, do a red attack, or run in and do some pressure or something. Not dodge. But yeah, say, you know, they're blocking because they want to block all these. You know, because there's all these barrels. I run in, do a red attack, and there's not much they can do about it if they're scared about these barrels. So, they're a pretty good move, and that's why a lot of the time I don't like to end my combos with, um, her quirk 2 health, because she gets so dizzy, and you don't get, really get time to throw these out. But if, if you cancel with something else, or end in something that media blows, um, and then you can throw out these afterwards. And I, I really like to throw out these as much as possible, because they're very plus on block, even from, like, um, this distance. If they block it there, I can attack way before he can. I'll just try and demonstrate that quickly. Action after guarding and target combo. So if he blocks this here, I can attack way before he can do anything. So if you make them block them at this kind of distance, you're very plus on block. And if you make them block from all the way like over here, obviously you're going to be ridic- oh, actually that one's not going to reach. Um, you're going to be ridiculously plus on block if they reach it over there. You can even attack before it hits. But yeah, very good moves. You can apply pressure even from a full screen because of her, like, comboing projectiles. You can try and get a combo with this thing, throw these out, or even if they just go to block it. So if you try to make the opponent scared of these because you know, oh, that you're gonna, like, do pressure and stuff, you know, gotta block it, don't wanna get hit by these, just throw another one. If they're blocking them, just keep throwing these out, and then the opponent is gonna have to do something eventually, or else they're just gonna be blocking all of these barrels and they're gonna get their guard broken. So, yeah. They're really interesting, and I like to throw them out as much as possible whenever I get the opportunity. Obviously, I'm not going to do it, like, mid-combo or something random like that. But once I've ended on a combo, or even, like, when I'm in the neutral here, I'll throw it out just like this, because I'm plus on block there, and then I can... If they try and press the button, I get to beat them, and maybe I'll break their guard as well. So, yeah. Very good stuff with these barrels. And, um... Actually, you can, um, I said you can directional input them to make them go left and right. But see, if I throw out a normal barrel, if I go quite far away, they'll kind of blow up, like, halfway in between me and Bakugo. But if you hold down the button, she throws them, like, quite high, like, with a high arc, and they bounce for a lot longer. And they basically just keep bouncing until they find the opponent. So especially if you're, like, near the wall, she's, these will just keep bouncing until they reach the opponent. <laughs> bouncing around. Sometimes they have weird bouncing arcs, it feels like you're playing Donkey Kong, but they're really interesting moves, and because they're so unpredictable, it doesn't matter if they don't hit them, because the, the opponent doesn't know that that's not going to hit, they just need it, they just don't want to get hit by it, so they, they get really scared of it, and sometimes if you time it right, just like I did there, you can actually get a full combo from these, and uh, yeah, get something like that, but <laughs> hopefully a bit better. Okay, um, her plus ultra one is basically just a massive version of those barrels. She throws a huge barrel and it explodes. That's about it. It can be pretty good, you know, do from a distance. It's pretty safe, pretty plus and block, and is a full screen plus ultra and does pretty decent damage. You're rarely gonna be comboing into it though because she doesn't have many ways to combo into it. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about combos with Mei. So, even though she's got a lot of um, comboing special moves that start combos for free and you can use in the neutral. A lot of her stuff, um, uh, when you get the opportunity to do a combo, you're gonna go through a very similar combo routes most of the time. So the bread and butter combo that I found with Mei Hatsume um, goes like this. So it's a few attacks into quirk one, dash up, yellow attack into tilt quirk one, wait for both hits to hit, two hits into tilt attack, and then, oh, I cancelled that a bit early, but then you go into quirk two, and you get 9,000. 83 damage, which is pretty good. Keep in mind, I did no dash cancels there. That's a pretty good and high damaging combo for that. So I'll just do it again, in case anyone wants to see me do it again. Um, it can be a bit less, a bit more damage if you let- oh, oops. Oh well, wait, come on. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I should have gone into the quirk too earlier there, but as you can see, that can wall splat if you leave the, um, the yellow attack 
at the end as well, just to get a little bit more damage. But yeah, that's essentially what you're, the combo route that you're going to be going through most of the time. There are variations that you can do that are going to do very similar damage, like if I did, um... And ran up and did something like this. But I've just found um, that combo does the most damage. Because one of the weird things about Mei is if I do like something like this really simple into the air, and then I do like into this, I can't cancel it into an air attack string in the air because I've done an air attack string. So you need to be really conservative about what moves you use and when. And that's why I like to use um, this in a combo, because it's not something you usually ever get to use, and then you're using all the tools you can. And it does a nice big chunk of damage as well. So yeah, I like to use that after I let get them onto the ground with this. Then I catch them with the tilt quirk one. Oh, there we go. That's going to be a bit more damage. There we go. 9,336, and that's just because, um, ooh. <laughs> That's just because um, a few more hits of the yellow attack hit. So yeah, that's the basic combo route you're going to be doing with me, And it's going to be pretty similar, like, no matter what the situation is. So even if I hit this from all the way up the other side of the screen, and I want to... Oops. And I want to get a combo from there. What's going on? I can go into basically the same thing. I just might end it a little bit earlier. Oops, I messed that up. Um, but yeah, I just might do... A a little less of like the yellow tax or the what am I doing? <laughs> but a little less of the yellow tax or um, the quirk too, just to make sure they don't media blow too early. And there we go. It's gonna scale a bit more because um, that move uh, does scale a bit when you start a combo with it. But getting seven thousand from a full screen, a nearly like full screen projectile, is pretty good if you ask me. <laughs> And obviously, like, if you're in the air, you can do something similar. So if I'm in the air, I'll usually do a combo of, like, oops. Um, into a yellow attack, into this. Um, hello. Um, oh wait, no, that doesn't work. So probably just, honestly, like, two hits. Um, just two hits into this. And then go up and do the same thing as, oops. It can be a bit tight from the air because she has to land as well, but similar things. I messed it up there, but it'll be around the same damage. Um, combos off of her red attack are a bit unusual because her red attack is just so weird. Like it hits differently if I do it from here, or it just doesn't hit if I do it there. It has really weird and small range, but if I do it from there, I can't even get anything. So if I do it from like not right under them, like here, I have to combo off of it with that if I don't want to use a dash cancel. And then I can get something like this, which is pretty okay damage. Or if I'm right up close, um, some you can usually get an attack off, but you have to be like <laughs> right under their feet, so you're not going to get that very often. Oh yeah, and then you can't do that either. Yeah, comboing off of her red attack, it's pretty weird. But, uh, yeah. And the same things are gonna go, like, if you catch them with your net, you know, you're gonna be throwing out the net quite a lot in the neutral. Except, keep in mind, you can only have one net in a combo, because if you do it twice, it'll media blow instantly. So you're gonna change your combo, and this is the other combo route um, for if you've used a net. So you can do something like this, three attacks into the yellow attack, into this, and... Oh wait, no, you have to um, just do a single hit into that, because you've already done an air attack. <laughs> 7,400 damage, but that's going to be on top of, you know, you grab them with the net. In the neutral, you've grabbed them, come in and do a combo. Oops. And yeah, you can go into a combo, it'll do about 8,000 damage, which is pretty good, you know, throwing out these great nets, which have a huge hitbox, by the way. And that's also something I want to talk about with her combos and resets. So if I do something like end a combo in uh, something like this, where the opponent can recover, oops. So yeah, if I do something like into this, and I go into it all the way, when the opponent goes to recover, I often like to throw out the net, like, and time the net really well, so 
um, that like when they recover. Oh my god, I'm not having much luck with this. Wait, if I do something, what's something that puts them in the air? Like this. And when they recover, I throw out the net because the net has a really huge hitbox. Look at that. Like, if I throw it from over here, it, it's pretty big. It's a really big move for a game like One Justice 2. And so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, if I do something like this, and then I. Oh, that was a little splat. <laughs> so, like, pretend I've ended my combo, like, you know, with something else. They go to recover, and I'll throw out the net, and depending on what direction they wake up in, they, like, quite often, like, end up just falling into my net. Like, he nearly did there, he kind of went backwards, though. I'm not having much luck demonstrating this, but playing online, this happens quite a lot. Like, I can throw out my net, and they just get into a whole new combo. I'm gonna try and demonstrate, I don't know why it's not working very well. See, that was kind of there, it wasn't, like, right at the moment. But you can see that they, like, so, as they recover, they get hit by the huge hitbox of the, um... Of the, this, whatever that's <laughs> Of her tilt quirk, of her, um, her net, I mean. So yeah, that's... Her combos aren't gonna really be that difficult, but, um, something to note with her combos is that she can always combo into her plus ultra too, because, um... Jesus, is she talking over herself? Oh yeah, you have to be right against a wall, though. But she can very often combo into her plus ultra too, um, after a combo. Um, if she's facing the corner, because, you know, I'll just do it something simply, just so I can show it. Because she can cancel into her plus ultras from the ground. After that. They'll scale quite a bit though, because of all the... Her, well, just in general, her combo scale quite a bit. But, you know, if it's at the end of your long combo and it'll take the round, you know, it'll take the round. It's worth it then. <laughs> this is a really long plus ultra too though, like, oh my, it's a whole episode. It is funny though, but I think they could have shortened it quite a bit. <laughs> and she blows herself up. Okay. But yeah, that's basically all I have to say about Mei and her combos. You're never going to be using her plus ultra 1 in a combo, because like, after you've landed this and then you land on the ground and then you do the plus ultra 1, it has kind of slow startup, so they'd be able to block it. See that didn't combo there. And, because the plus ultra one, it's mainly as like a long range projectile move, because it has like complete tracking, it zooms around, like tracks them, and then, so they have to block it. It'll like, it never misses, or I've never seen it miss, so far. But yeah, and you can't even cancel from the regular buttons because they put her in the air. But yeah, so basically, she's never going to be using a plus ultra one, um, just a plus ultra two if you are getting it off of the quirk two. But, um, yeah, that's basically all that you have to do with combos with me. Maybe if you want to get a little extra damage, you can, um, add a dash cancel right at the end, and it's nearly the same combo. Oops, dropped it a bit there. Essentially, you want to be saving your meter for her plus ultra moves, and you can just spend a little bit of meter you just want to get a little bit more damage in her combos. 9,800, you know, they were doing, what, 9,000 before. You can sometimes get a bit closer to 10,000. I don't know why it did less damage there. But, you know, just add a little dash cancel at the end of her, um, quirk 2, and you're gonna get some more damage in your combos. But yeah, that's about all I have to say for combos with Mei. They're pretty simple. She has very, um, simplistic combo paths. You either are gonna cancel into her yellow attack, into this, and then do something along these lines. Or what I like to do, and works best for me, is doing something like that.